Hello and welcome to Just Calvin Movie Reviews. Today we're going to be talking about Tick, Tick, Boom. This is a movie directed by uh, Lin-Manuel Miranda. It's actually his first time directing. And it stars Andrew Garfield, who I always love, as Jonathan Larson. And uh, yeah, it's a very autobiographical thing about Jonathan Larson, who is the creator of Rent. And he wrote also Tick, Tick, Boom and did a few other things. But um, yeah, this was a movie that just came out on Netflix that I enjoyed. It's um, a, mostly about the creative process, if I'm honest, because it's basically about how this one song gets made for this play. Um, and the play isn't Rent, it's a different play that Jonathan Larson is writing. And it's basically just, he's just really working hard on this song. And I feel like it's a really good movie just about basically writer's block. And there's, you know, there's musical songs in there. But I like how it's sort of, you know, just about that. There's other stuff going on because he's in New York in the 1990s. Um, so, like, the AIDS epidemic is very much, like, talked about in this movie. Um, and some other stuff, you know, like, he's, you know, he sort of has rough finances because he's in New York in the 1990s, and he's not... He's working at a diner. It's not like he's really financially safe. Um, this movie also has a something that I really enjoyed, um, which is it uses a framing device that I think works really well with this movie. Um, it being a musical, I think uh, it benefits, honestly, from this. Because it's not like a full musical. There's like times where people are talking. But when they start singing, for the most part, it switches to this other framing device where it's he's performing this musical, because it's a musical he wrote, he's performing it on a stage. And there's like other people there um, who are performing it as well. And I like that framing device because it sort of keeps the music happening on a stage and then like you have the narrative of the film sort of just going on around it. And sometimes if like narration has to happen or he has to explain something, um, it'll cut back to the stage. And it, I like that as sort of a way to, you know, you have your narrative going on where it's the story, but it keeps the story somewhat grounded because you know, don't just have like people bursting out into song. Although that happens a few times and we'll talk about that later on. But for the most part, the, st the singing's on the stage and I, I like this framing device. It almost feels like a play at times, which I, I appreciate and almost like a play monologue thing. And also with the movie being called Tick, Tick, Boom, I think it has a really good sense of time time running out he um constantly brings up that he's about to turn 30 and he it's almost like his whole world is going to end when he turns like 30 like he's like he like looks up to his icons and they all like had these great plays before 30 and i really like that sort of sense of urgency i think it it, it leads well to the pacing of this film um let's talk about some things i didn't like though because i've been pretty glowing about it so far but it, it is held back by a few things that um, didn't really work for me. Um, there is one song that's performed at a diner um, where it's singing like in world, like it doesn't cut to the play uh, like it does for most of the other songs. And that sort of, it worked a little bit less for me because I think I, they had this, you know, narrative thing where you can do it in a, a play, but instead they do it at a diner and there's some bad CGI with the diner too which takes away from it mildly um, but nothing too horrible um, I think it would also benefit from a stronger director um, it's not really like the most like visually impressive film um, I think that is a good first attempt from Lin-Manuel Miranda um, but I think that the film maybe would have popped a bit more if it had like a stronger director behind it also with the whole movie basically being about the creative process of this song, the song is performed about 30 minutes before the end of the movie, which means you have 30 extra minutes after that. And I feel like this is sort of where the movie drags a little for me, because you still care about like sort of the aftermath of it, because the aftermath of it is very important, and I think that I like the aftermath of it, and how it's maybe not as successful as um, Jonathan Larson envisioned the song to be, like it's not the end all be all of his life. Um, and I like sort of that, and I like that there's some wrap up there. Uh, but it starts to lag a bit because you do lose like that drive to make the song, and then it's just sort of like, oh, I made the song, we performed it, now what? And I think that that's a little bit weaker. 
Also, this last 30 minutes has probably my least favorite song of the entire movie, which is Real Life. Um, I think it comes at a time where there's something very dramatic is happening. And um, I think it maybe works better in the play, Tick, Tick, Boom. I haven't seen the play, but I feel like it may work better on stage than it does in a movie. Um, it didn't really work for me um, in the movie because it just sort of an actor singing, is this real life? while doing like, you know, very sad things, like he's throwing papers and stuff. And it just feels very melodramatic to me. And it takes away from this like moment that I feel like should be very powerful and it's very sad. Like this is a world ending revelation that this poor guy just had. But when he, when a character is just sort of saying, is this real life over and over again while doing like dramatic things, it just sort of comes off very melodramatic. And I think it took away a lot from that moment. Um, which is rough and I feel like that's a part of where I said maybe a better director a more experienced director would have been able to handle it a bit better to make sort of that emotion come through a bit better um, but overall I really enjoyed Tick Tick Boom I don't have like anything really bad to say about it um, I think that most people will enjoy this film I think it has a really good soundtrack um, it is a musical so that's important um, I also think that the acting by Andrew Garfield and the supporting cast is very strong and I think that the, uh, the framing device of the stage being for like mo used for monologues and being used for like most of the musical performances I think personally works really well and I think that uh, it sort of allows the narrative to not get bogged down by people just bursting into song which I think is something that uh, a lot of audiences are maybe not the biggest fans of at least in movies um, but yeah uh, overall I would recommend Tick Tick Boom especially if you have any interest in Jonathan Larson as a human being I think that is sort of an interesting look into his life also if you just want to know like if you just want to like have a really good movie about like the creative process I feel like this is a very strong one um, I think it very much goes into like hey this is very stressful and uh, I think it's very well done in that regards um, there are some low lights like I said but I think overall it's a decent enough film and I think that most people will enjoy it